Hey, Keith again. Keith's garage. And today I'm going to be switching the seats out on my 08 panel HHR van. And right now... So, the panel vans, if you didn't know, do not come with the rear seat. They had this, um, just like a little storage thing. That would This whole this thing would have been flat and would be this little storage deal right here. You can open up and you can put it in there. And you can put stuff in there. So a while back, I went to the junkyard, probably when I first bought this car, and I got these um, cloth seats. It was the only thing I could find in the junkyard. Uh, this car is a 2LT. The front seats are leather, as you can see. I mean, not in the best shape. The car has 175,000 miles on it, I think. And the guy, you know, it's been smoked. It was smoked in before I had it. Because uh, I can tell when I cleaned it, it was like tar come up. It was, anyway, it's disgusting. So, cloth seats. If you remember, my son had a purple HHR. And he wrecked it. And we went to the junkyard. That had cloth seats in it when we bought it. And it was so filthy and disgusting that we just took the seats and threw them out. And we went to, went to the junkyard and got new seats for it. And we found leather seats. I mean, we found mismatch. We found a nice pair of black fronts. And then we found a um, gray rear leather seat. So I took the leather seat out before we scrapped the car. So here's the back leather seat. It is kind of dirty. I mean, it was in a car accident. <laughs> it's got some glass in it, in, the, in there. But so this has got to be cleaned up. I'm gonna put it in and I'll clean it up after. But <clears throat> but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to take the seats out, put these seats in. Um, yeah, that's just the the fans. I just took a cyclone for a ride. It fans on and off. Anyway, uh, and that's why the and that's why the battery dies. <laughs> the fans just keep going on and off until it gets the temperature it likes. If you want to see when the seats were originally put in, you can go. There's an episode of All Girls Garage. It was like panel. I don't remember what it's called. They had two panel trucks, and my panel, my, my HHR was one, and they had like a 1956 big you know regular size panel truck they were doing some work on that and then they did some work on this they did um they put the rear seat in so i can tell you uh, let me, how, how can i put this it was tv magic because i already had the rear seat in they wanted to show it can show converting the back storage thing to a rear seat so i brought them the everything for the back storage so they just mopped up. They took the rear seat out, put the storage thing in, and go, okay, this is how we're gonna put the rear seat in. And then they took that out and then put the rear seat in. Put the rear seat back in that was already in. Anyway, uh, so I'm just gonna show you how to, how to swap this out. But what, what I was getting at is if you wanna see the whole thing of taking the, the, the rear package storage thing out and putting the rear seat in, go look up that episode. I, don't, I can't remember what episode. I'll put it in the description below of what episode it was. I can't remember off the top of my head. But um, they did that and they did the door panels. I can show you the door panels. I'm sure I've done videos on door panels before. So I had um, uh, all black panel, door panel, and then I had a gray windowed door panel. So the window one goes, it does a, it follows the same thing. It goes like this, except there's a window here, cut out for a window. So I couldn't, once again, I was at the junkyard, couldn't find the right ones. I couldn't find all, I couldn't find two of the same color. <laughs> anyway, um, so what they did was they cut, you can't see it, but they cut the windowed part out of the gray. And then they cut the bottom part of the black one out and put it here. The only issue is right here, there's a, there's a gap. Over here it's pretty good. But you got a gap right here. Nothing, nothing really can be done about that. I mean, if, unless you want to make a custom door panel, that's not going to happen. But the problem is when you have seats in here, and then you have the panel, door panel on here, inside door panel, there's there's no uh, pull pull handle, so you don't have anything to pull to close the door with, 
And what the kids were doing was you have a door, there's a door handle there, and they were using the door handle. These are plastic door handles. These things break all the time. So I wanted this. The other thing you also have to get, oh, I'm missing this. I'm missing a little piece of rubber there. Um, oh, here it is. There it is. Oh, maybe that's why it's not in there. It's disgusting. All right, I'll go we'll clean that. Uh, there's a metal bracket in here that this screws to, like this cup, this little, you see there's two screws here, that screws to a metal bracket, and the metal bracket is screwed to the door, so when you pull this, you're not pulling the door panel, you're pulling on that metal bracket. Anyway, that's just a little story behind that. So I'm gonna get some tools. There's uh, bolts here, you have to take out, what, one, two, there's like four, and then you gotta take a bunch off in the back, and this whole sucker comes out, you just gotta feed the seat belts. I can show you on this one. Once you get these off, you just fold the seat up and then you can get to this stuff. And you get to that, 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 and it's three. And then something with the seat belts you gotta undo. So anyway, let me get some tools. We'll start taking this apart. It shouldn't take that long. All right, I got these bolts off right here. All these four, this is what it looks like. There's supposed to be some cover that goes over these. I don't know where they are. I don't know where the covers are, but the cover is like, I can never get them to snap back on over this thing. This thing's got to be in a certain spot, and then the cover snaps over it. Um, I don't know where they are. But, yeah, then the cover just goes, snaps over it. it, makes it look nice. Oh, I think maybe they snap onto here, maybe, in this bracket? I don't know. Anyway, I got these four off. Now you have to get bolts off from here. There's one there, one on the other side, and one in the middle. Um, I might have to pull the seat forward because this isn't going down all the way. There we go. That goes down all the way. You can see that bolt down, down in there. There you go. See that bolt right there? That's one of them. Uh, the other one's in the middle here somewhere. I don't know, I'll find it. And then one on the other side. So, let me get to those. I think that's it. I think that's it. And then seat belts. And then I think the seat, the seat comes right out. All right. Let me, uh, do that. I'm, what I'm using is I'm going to use uh, that seatbelt down there is pretty is in there pretty good. So I used um, I tried three H drive, couldn't get it. So three H drive. It's a um, 18 mil extension. <laughs> then I have this three eighths to half inch extension because I don't have a extension long enough for a half inch. So that's why I'm using this. And. And it won't move. All right, so I need to go get the half inch drive to actually break it loose. I don't know why it's so in there so tight. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, so I switched it up a little bit. I have three extensions. I don't like this last extension because it's a wobble extension. But three half inch extensions onto here but the bolts were still too tight so i had to use my breaker wrench socket wrench whatever half inch so use that broke them loose took them off with this now now the uh seat should come out let me uh do this we gotta figure out the seat belts I think they actually the seatbelts just stay here. Let's see. Don't remember. Uh, so this has to. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Oh, a mask. Look at all this stuff. Okay. I'm gonna have to get the vacuum cleaner. Yeah, seatbelts stay. And then the seats just come out. All right. I'm gonna probably go out that way with it. I have backup. 
I don't figure it out. All right, so seats up. The seat up. I think. I think. Let's see this come out. Now the seatbelt. Go with this seatbelt. Oh, this one. So this seatbelt here is inside the inside the seat. I have to take. There's another bolt to take out. That's uh, Simon. Yeah, it's just too tight. I don't know what happened. Okay. That aside, this off. Let's see if it comes off now. Still something. What the hell's left? All right, there's one more bolt back here, which means I gotta take all this stuff out. All this has come out, and I need to get into there. All this stuff has come out, I need to get into there, because there's a bracket. It comes over here, and it bolts in underneath that. There's a little uh, storage compartment over there. See this storage compartment thing? That has come off. Oh, and here are all the uh, the covers. I don't know why I have some random tools in here, but I don't know. It's kind of weird. Whatever. Let's see. Oh, more more gloves. Is oh pin. These are uh, I don't know why I have all these. These are to adjust coilovers. All right. I'll probably put that in there to keep these things quiet. Let's use these and put the blue ones in there. All right. So to get that out, I can take this off. Ah, shoot. This thing has come off. I don't really get into it. Really getting into it. Okay. Get this out. There we go. Put that here. Okay, so now this, oh my lord, there's some tens there that I have to take off. Is there anything inside here? I thought there was something inside here that was oh, This here is for the, um, kid seat you would take the strap and click it here I'm missing the one that goes here but 
I don't think anybody uses that anyway. All right, let me get some tens. Get that off, take that box out. Take the other one off and then we're almost there. All right, so I took the seat out this way. I don't know if that's the way the new one's going in, but I might try that. So yeah, I got this, that one out. So there's four that are holding it into the, uh, in the, in the car there. And then you have the four in front that hold the front of the seat down. So anyway, that's the old seat. We vacuumed it all up. So all this is nice and vacuumed. I'm gonna put the seat in there, and then once I get all this junk, I'll vacuum the back seat. But let's get the new the new one in there. All right, let's get the new seat in here. Let's see how I'm gonna do it. If I had two people, I could probably just slide it through this way, but I'm only one person. So, going this way. What am I stuck on? This is stuck. There we go. Now I gotta swing that bar back. Bar back. <laughs> swing that bar. This one, middle one's almost lined up. Let's see what we got right here. Lift this up. Oh, it's on the seatbelt. This up. problem. Okay, we're all done. Some nice leather seats that match the front now. I just gotta get that back for there. Let me get a flashlight. Can't see. Can't see nothing. There we go. Look at that. Um, the seats have to be cleaned up a little bit still. I mean, I didn't touch them. I thought we. I thought they were pretty decently clean. I don't know if something because the car flipped over that it was in, and then this here. I don't know what the heck happened here. There's a hole there. I don't know what that's going on there, but there's like black stuff. I don't, I don't know. Um, but there we go. I vacuumed. The, I had the vacuum out, so I vacuumed all the floors. It needed that. That was, it was pretty dirty. But yeah, that looks pretty good now. I like now it's matching. This car, this car is not perfect. 
so uh, that's fine. Um, I mean, this front seat's ripping there. I could just use a whole new interior. I should do a uh, should do an SS interior. That's what I really should do. But anyway, it's in there. Um, I don't know where I left off with telling with, with with putting it in there. So you saw I put the seat in. Oh, I remember now. I put the seat in this way, through the back, fiddled with it, and then what happened was the battery on the uh, camera died. So got it in there, and I just put all the bolts back in where they're you know the same way. I thought maybe it was giving me a little bit of trouble. And I thought maybe with the rollover, because that purple car, the whole the roof was collapsed and the pillars. And I thought maybe this was um, bent a little bit, but it's it's in there. So I don't think it got bent. If if it if it did, maybe it got tweaked a little bit. I had I really had to slam this side to get it to lock. You know, slam it back to get it to lock. But anyway, it, it's it, it's there. It, it, it was able to lock. And uh, what else? Um, yeah, then I just did all this stuff back to get, put all that stuff back together. I didn't put those. Uh, I didn't put the covers on these. I tried. Uh, this thing has to be straight up and down, and then there's little nubs on the. On the covers that are supposed to go into these holes, and I couldn't get them in there. So I don't know what the deal is. It's probably a one-time removal, and it looks like the the little nubs that are on there aren't long enough. So it's one-time removal, and then that's it. You're done. Anyway, that's it for that. That's how you swap out the rear seat in a HHR. Hope you uh, enjoyed it. Hopefully maybe you learned something. If you did, hit the like button. Share it with other HHR people that want to know how to do this. And subscribe if you want to see more stuff that I'm working on. I mean, Cyclone, Typhoon. I got a whole bunch of other vehicles that I'm, that I'm messing with. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. See ya. Bye.